How to add a match cut effect into your video like Johnny Harris? This effect works really well if you're showcasing a word that's being repeated a lot in a paragraph or an article. So first things first, you gotta have a screenshot of a text that contains a very repetitive word. For example, I generated a random paragraph with ChatGPT that included the word subscribe, which we will be applying this effect onto. Nice. Make sure to have the word all over the place in your paragraph the center, on the right, on the left, and in Premiere Pro, click on the settings button right here. Press save margins, then go back to the settings again and click on show rulers. This will help us place our word into the middle of our screen. Next up, go to the effect controls and try to place the middle of the word, in my case the letters S and C, right where these two lines match. Once you do that, go 8 steps forward from the start of your sequence, hit C on your keyboard, then make a cut right here. After that, locate the second time your word is mentioned, and repeat the same process again. Place the middle of the word within the matching point of these two lines, and then go 7 frames forward and cut, just like our previous attempt. It's honestly up to you where you want to cut each sequence. I like to have this effect go from slow to fast. You can for example have each sequence containing the same amount of frames, or in my case, you can have the first sequence containing 8 frames, moving down slowly to the point where on the last 4 sequences, you only would have 2 frames. Next up, add a sound effect to the start of each cut. You can download these sounds from Pixabay for example. I added a ticking sound effect to make the clip more vibrant. And then lastly, highlight your word with a marker effect. I already made another video focusing on the text highlighting effect, but in this video, we're only applying a simpler version of it. Basically, click on the rectangle tool, then drag it onto your word. On the effect controls, Change the color to yellow, then change the blend mode from normal to multiply. To add the cherry on top, nest everything up and then search the camera blur effect. Then drag it onto your nested sequence. On the effect controls, press the circle right here and try to kinda cover your word inside the space right here. Press invert it and this will make the text around your word a little bit blurry. We don't want it to be that blurry, so we're gonna change the blurriness volume to something like 5 and the opacity to 50% and this is how it should look like. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Also check out these other tutorials.